Sunfall. The Mad King drowns Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow? Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Savages now. Meanwhile, I haven't eaten in a day. The man who fixes my shoes has apparently fled some problem. Are you Galeev? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself. But you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience. 
But in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. Those parts aren't exactly easy to come by. As it happens, a Thunderjaw prowls the Valley of Omens, north and west of here. I know it well because they expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. If I do this, it's not for you. Oh, I'm not expecting you to do it at all. But I'll be heading back to the Citadel later. They're not waiting to come home. Another savage. At least it's not as bad as Meridian. Good for an old remedy. Thunderjaw shouldn't be hard to find. Just hope I see it before it sees me. It's 
beautiful in its way.
sound like they were designed to hurt people. I have your machine part. A deal's a deal. See to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me, if this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's better than not having a future at all. What a charming notion. Come, come, let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. I saw a Kestrel talking to a couple outlanders. Looked like he was giving them orders. It's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask, in case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. The outlanders are only here to weed out traitors. So at least I'm safe. Come, take a look. A ceasefire? The apostate started a... Did I crash the network or Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Look. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to live in the Bahamas. I hear the shards. Okay, well.
by the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The green the tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First well, time in the Citadel, gotta anyone. see the sun ring from on high. But the Kestrels? Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy! It makes quite Get an impression. Here's more ancient than the old ones. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend to the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. 